Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to move some of your funds uh, from maybe your full node that you had set up a while ago on Ironfish to the desktop wallet. I already actually have the desktop wallet installed on a remote machine. I would recommend downloading the snapshot instead of syncing with peers. Uh, but I just went ahead and started this up. I just want to go through that process with you. First things first, on the full node, we need to find out uh, you know, what we got in our balance and stuff like that, and your node needs to be synced up. I just like to go ahead and start it off rip and let it ride out. Um, so I'm going to do Ironfish start. It's going to take a minute to kick up, and then I'm going to open up a new PowerShell window, and I should be able to uh, check my wallet balance from my understanding. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I think it's balance with no S, but I could be wrong. If you don't know the commands, you could always do Ironfish, uh, you know, wallet. I, I, Ironfish help, I think is what it is. Let's pull it up real quick. Ironfish help. And it's going to give you all the commands. So, yep, there we go. So, in the background, I have one PowerShell window syncing up the chain. And then I have another PowerShell window where I can manage my wallet funds. Now we got to go make sure that we have the wallet downloaded. So, here, I already have it downloaded. But let me take you through the process. We're just going to use our computer to do so we're going to go to ironfish itself go to their main website click on use and get started and then if we scroll down you see that they have wallets downloaded supported wallets there you go and we're going to go ahead now they do have fox wallets but i'm just going to use the node so we're going to go ahead and go there and then you they have it for windows mac um, and then you can go to the GitHub and uh, verify via the repository. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit download now. And once it's done downloading, I'm actually going to show you the process. And you're going to see a seed phrase uh, for a wallet that I am not going to use. So good luck. Uh, but we just want to make sure we're doing this. I'm doing the wallet install on my main system. But then I have the wallet already installed on a secondary system uh, that I will be utilizing once the node is done syncing. Uh, I'll show you the option to download the snapshot here in just a moment once this gets done. Um, but just make sure that if you were using a full node that you're letting that bad boy sync up. It's already done. Good. Uh, so realistically, as long as I have a wallet address, I could actually send the funds right now. And I'll talk about how we send it in just a minute. But it's pretty much simple. Ironfish space wallet uh, colon send. And then we got to put in the memo if you're like going to an exchange or something like that. All right, so that download is done. Let's go ahead and get the app started up. It actually reminds me of Chia uh, when it first loads up. But here we go. You want to create an account or you can import. And if you import uh, and you have the encode key or the mnemonic phrase or a file, a JSON file, uh, then you can import that way. But we're just going to go ahead and create a new account. And then you want to make sure that you notate uh, these 24 words, because if you lose this, then you lose access to your wallet. Um, and then you want to confirm and advise it that you have backed up your seed phrases. If you click this little copy icon, there you go. It will, you can copy and paste it to a TXT document. However, you know how I am about those. I don't like... Uh, people storing their 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 seed phrases and txt documents on a computer system that they use day to day and may visit nefarious websites but either way once you have securely stored it you want to click on i have saved my recovery phrase hit next and then it's going to ask you to put that recovery phrase in now if you just copied it you should be able to just go to the first one control v boom all the words are right in there create account and then it's going to ask you, can we use your telemetry data? It will be anonymous, so on and so forth. I have it disabled by default, but you can turn it on if you want to, if you want to participate. And now here's the window that I was talking about. Syncing from peers is going to take a long time. So I would recommend download Snapshot. But however, sometimes it just doesn't work. You click on it, and then it doesn't do anything. So you click it again at the top, and you click on it, it doesn't do anything. So maybe give your wallet a little bit of time um, to... I don't know, figure itself out, but every time I hit download, this is three different systems now. Every time I hit download snapshot, it doesn't really do anything. So I'm just going to click this and click sync with peers. It's going to take a long time. 
Um, but I believe there's a snapshot out there on the web that you can use. I, I try to find it myself, uh, but I wasn't able to off rip just for this video, but I haven't spent that much time searching. If anybody has links to it, just put it down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to pin it in the description. But here's the wallet, the desktop wallet. You know, we can send money, we can receive funds. We got our public address that pe we can provide to people or send money from exchanges or what have you to our main wallet. We can have an address book so we can add contacts. Let's say, uh, for example, Rabbit Mining. You know, we want to add them. We copy their address that they might provide to us in a DM, Discord, whatever it might be. And we can easily add that contact. We could also see the status of our node, see what's going on, see what our outgoing connections are or speed is, the number of connections to peers, uh, the head hash, the head sequ uh, sequence, the incoming and outgoing. So all the good stuff that you want to see from a node. There's even dark mode, which is really nice, uh, good on the eyes, and then updates. This tells you about the latest releases and information like that. Nothing too crazy, plain straight to the point wallet i love it gooey looks good um and so now that you have your wallet set up we need to withdraw funds so how do we do that well first off let's go ahead and open up another powershell window and let's type in ironfish uh wallet colon send and it's going to ask us the amount we want to send. So we could do like one iron fish or maybe, um, you know, point zero point zero zero one iron fish. Um, and then when we hit enter, it's going to ask for the public address. So we need to get the address. If you are using exchange, you it's probably going to give you a memo, which you want to put in the memo first. Uh, but in this case, we're just sending from, you know, our full node wallet using powershell to our uh, our wallet that we just created and there shouldn't be any memo that we need so we can just copy this address we could paste it in here and then send the funds that way uh, so it's very easy to do i personally like the new gui again when it opens up it reminded me of chia because i believe they built it the same way i think it was node.js or uh, it's a similar software, uh, but the GUI looks really good. Now, I'm not gonna use this wallet, so I'm gonna let that one go, create a new one or import one and move the funds from this full node to the GUI wallet. And that is pretty much it. Just wanna show you how to do that. If you have any questions or concerns, or maybe you're messing up right here, just close out the damn PowerShell. You will be perfectly fine. Open up a new one, and then you can always type in Ironfish help. And if you actually type in, uh, for example, Ironfish and then Wallet, it will give you some other commands that you can use as well. There you go. So you Wallet, colon, Accounts, Address, Assets, Balances, or Balance. Burn if you want to burn the token. Delete. Export if you want to export your wallet. Uh, mint if you want to mint tokens and increase supply for a given asset. Post, prune, repair, the whole nine yards. Uh, so if you don't know what the correct command is, you can always type in Ironfish and then that particular command or what are these subsets like wallet and then uh, the the help guide will pop up with the different commands. So send right here and Rabbit Mind did a really good job showing if you were sending to an exchange, maybe like a, the memo address that you need to put in there first. Um, and that's going to do it for today's video. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description. And I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll catch you next one.